What is it with Diskim? This this isn't a lot of stuff. This really it's not a lot of stuff that I got. But but if you look at the price tag, 748 Rand. For not that many things. It's crazy. Okay, 13 items. But still. Hello everybody and happy Monday! I am back in South Africa. I landed this morning at like 4 o'clock in the morning and oh my gosh, I was so tired. I barely got any sleep on my flight last night, you guys. There was like a crazy guy just next to me who just wouldn't stop talking or moving or smelling like an ashtray. Um, I survived that and I got home at 4 o'clock in the morning. We landed at 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, Keegan picked me up, oh shame, bless his heart, and then he still went to work <laughs> right after um, because it's a Monday, of course. Uh, then I went to sleep um, and I probably woke up around half past eight going on nine in the morning and I couldn't go back to sleep, which is horrible because I got zero sleep during the flight anyway, so I'm going off of fumes right now. <laughs> but anyway, um, it is now like just after three in the afternoon and I just came back from the mall. I went to Clearwater Mall because I needed to get some makeup, actually. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, I was at Diskem, so obviously I couldn't film inside Diskem. But um, I'm going to show you. I didn't even get that many things. I still just can't get over it, how expensive it is at Diskem. Like, and the thing is, when you're picking each product, you're like, hmm, that's not bad, 60 bucks. Hmm, that's not bad, 30 rand. And then you get to the till and suddenly your final amount is like just under a thousand rand and you're like, what did I buy? Uh, yeah, but anyway, um, I just needed a couple of makeup things because a whole bunch of my makeup just is breaking quite easily. So the reason I actually got out of the house was because I had to pick up shoes from Clark's. I ordered flight attendant like new heels. Um, from Clark's because they were on sale because why would I buy them full price and they for some reason I said I'd pick them up on the 4th which is today <laughs> and I'm like why did you do that to yourself you could have just slept in and said the 5th or something but yeah I wasn't thinking anyway I had to go do that and I had to go to the bank our couch is here how pretty is this couch oh my gosh I'm so excited that we finally got this couch for those of you who remember, we ordered this couch in the beginning of November, I think around like the 11th of November, and it was quoted to arrive the week before Christmas. That didn't happen. And it actually arrived, literally, I missed it by like two days, you guys, two days. I was actually so upset that I wasn't gonna be here to see it arriving because I was hoping that it would arrive when I'm home, because they said it would arrive this week, like, from today, between today and Friday, I guess. But this time they were early, so I'm not complaining. But um, Keegan actually filmed some of the moving process for me and he was sending it to me and I was so happy because I was like vicariously here, I guess. But yeah, I'm so excited that this couch is here. It's much bigger than I expected. It's, I think, 2.9 by 2.9 meters so it's pretty big and the lounge isn't that big but I really really like it it's much bigger than I expected but that just makes it that much better these pillows I'm actually not sure about because it's already got these pillows for like the back and I don't think it needs these ones to look nice but it came with these so what can I do I might swap them out for some like decorative pillows I guess um, I don't know I haven't looked for any but I'll see um, basically actually this couch was picked by Keegan I just picked the color and a light colored couch would have arrived much sooner but I was just being very very difficult <laughs> and I was like I refuse I want my couch I wanted the color that I want so yeah right now I'm just so excited to see this couch finally finally here Okay, I didn't have to get too much stuff. It was just the things that were broken or whatever, but basically I got some cotton pads because, you know, when you're makeup remover and stuff. <laughs> and then I got, I needed a foundation brush. So I got 
this Kala Natural Foundation Brush because I already have natural bamboo. All of my other brushes are these natural bamboo um, brushes. And so that's a foundation one and this is an eyeshadow, an eyeshadow brush. Because the one I have is a bit too thick and I need a bit of a smaller one. Then I got some face wipes, of course. Always need a good face wipe. I got a beauty blender. Then I got some face, some Nivea face sunscreen because I'm like just about to run out of the one that I have. Um, and I like this one because it says that it uh, has shine control and a 0% sticky feeling. So let's put it to the test. I'll let you guys know if it actually does that or not. Then I got, I was gonna buy a new brow pencil, but the one I have is literally still brand new. I just didn't have a sharpener for it. So I went and I got just this little essence sharpener and it's double-sided so it does little small it does little small pencils and it does bigger ones as well so that's why i got this one and then i got um see i had one of those powder contouring kit things and the top lid broke so it just like cracked and went everywhere so this time I got this Rimmel London Insta Duo Contour Stick. This one, and it's the dark one. So there's like the dark side there. I don't know if you can tell, the dark side there. And then the highlighter side on that side. So I'm gonna try to use it and see if it actually works for me because I've never used the cream contouring stuff. Or like a stick like this I've always used the powder stuff and then um, I got an essence color boost mad about matte lipstick thingy because a lot of the lipsticks that I use that are matte actually dry my lips out and I've seen it when I'm editing my videos and I'm talking to you guys and my lips look like crazy chapped and crazy cracked it's my lipstick I swear <laughs> what is this this is the magic cloth makeup remover that apparently easily removes makeup by using only water so this I wanted to buy just to try it because I I'm not sure I believe that it's literally just a little it feels like a little throw blanket to be honest <laughs> which is kind of freaky I don't know how this is gonna take makeup off my face um, but yeah it says it's a magic cloth makeup remover that's what it says uh, so yeah I don't know and it says you must just rinse it with water um, wring it to drain excess water and then wipe makeup off your face like there's no makeup remover that you need there's no soap or face wash <laughs> I don't I don't know I'm a little skeptical about this one um, yeah we'll see I'll let you guys know I'm going to film tomorrow my um, flight attendant interview makeup video um, so I'm gonna try all of these things out for tomorrow like this and the brushes and then I'm gonna try this afterwards and I'm gonna let you know how it goes oh but the best part the best part <laughs> my lipstick <laughs> i'm so excited there was an avon pop-up shop and i don't know if you guys remember i said that there's an avon lipstick that i absolutely love that i haven't been able to find in like a couple of years and it is the avon superb wine can you see that it is the Avon Superb Wine Lipstick and I'm so excited that's what it looks like. It's nice and dark. Oh my word, I absolutely love this lipstick. So um, I'm gonna use this for tomorrow's video. I did also get this MARC Liquid, let me show you this, MARC Liquid Lacquer Shine, I don't know. And it's 
Ah, that was tough to open, jeez. I also got this from Avon. Um, and this is in the color Pouty. Oh, I don't know if I really like this one. Here, I'll try it now, see if it actually goes with my skin tone because I am not sure at all. Oh, that is glossy. That is so glossy. Oh. Okay. That's not too bad. I don't mind it. I don't, yeah, I don't mind it. It's not too pink, which is perfect for me. Um, yeah, pouty. <laughs> That's what this is. That's everything I got. And not including the lipsticks, it cost me over 700 Rand for uh, just a few things. This isn't too many things. <laughs> and it cost me over 700 Rand. To buy these things how insane you guys this is so crazy to me oh and this okay guys so that was just a really quick makeup haul um, video I guess I don't know I don't really do this stuff very often but I just wanted to show you what I got just so that you know a little bit of what I'm gonna be using in the makeup video tomorrow obviously I've got other makeup that I'm gonna be using tomorrow that I'm gonna show you but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was just a random little vlog type of thing and just me talking non-stop most of the time, but I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm so happy and excited to be home and I'm going to try to upload, um, let's, let's make it twice a week while I'm home. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to overshoot and overcommit myself. I'm gonna just try to do twice a week and hopefully I can stick to that and I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I will really, really appreciate it. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed just this little snippet of my day. And I hope to see you guys again on the next video. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to be kind and spread good vibes. Bye.